Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Against the Hive mission uh, where we're trying to beat the game or at least survive as long as possible against the Hive with only commercial weapons and no armor upgrades plus a couple of new more moderately or lower balance classes. It's really Starship Troopers all along and uh, today it's time for Operation Dawn Wagon. Last time we uh, left off, we found the supply raid. The game is now trying to give us alien alloys and alarium because it wants us to upgrade weapons, but we are conveniently ignoring that and are just going to take the supplies here for other mild good stuff that we might be building in the um, proving grounds as time comes. Uh, and uh, since supply raids typically are quite difficult, we're bringing uh, the best potential team with us. Taurus is going to help us with healing. Lyrical is going to be a frontliner. Uh, Dark Tower Noxus has the newly upgraded uh, weapon, which he casually like flings with one hand. We got uh, Sonar uh, with a few grenades and Quake makes his first appearance, uh, appearance as our main marksman is out of order. So let's jump right into the mission and see how well we're going to do. This is a non-timed mission, but one where there is a high likelihood that the Chosen is going to arrive. All right, so we landed. It's a non-timed mission. We just need to avoid destroying critical supplies. Haven't spotted anything out. Uh, there's no high ground, but a couple of locks. Wow, this is going to be a difficult one for fighting low ground versus low ground. That indeed is going to suck. Out. Getting aiming angles here, raising the weapon. Will do. So now full cover. Lyrical moves up. Oh boy. Well, the extra enemy size is now starting to show. Look at that, we got two max in a single pack plus a Plus a nasty stun lance. Oh boy, this is going to suck so much. I need the right cover. Full cover for Noxus. Good. We're actually okay back here. Sona takes another full cover spot over here. Confirmed. More full cover. I think you can sense the pattern by now. Okay, so we're likely going to engage now. We're likely to engage now. Hmm. I like the mine, that's not going to break concealment. <clears throat> and if we hit this, it's going to shred just as much as the other grenade, but it's also reducing the movement rate of uh, the biological units. 
Okay, so that would be a good start. What else do we need to do? Got an officer and a stun lancer, both of who are likely going to move, so Horus is overwatching. Yeah, we're we're ready to engage uh, them. Sniper's not overwatching because we do have uh, the Phantom trait and we don't want that to prevent an overwatch. If you do have Phantom, it means you're effectively not um, shooting from concealment because your concealment will never break in the first place. Nice hit. I'm somewhat hoping that that <coughs> explosion will not explode the car because that would be problematic. Let's try to get the stun lancer. Okay. First kill, I like it. We do have splinter armor, which could be hugely beneficial. And we can then suppress uh, the uh, other advent mech. Yeah, I think hmm, the entire riot mech could also be suppressed. Okay, we'll we'll do that in a second. For now. We're moving into the next big cover. Let's try to get <clears throat> enemies down. Lyrical does exactly that. Missed, which is a problem. And this would suppress both of them. Just reducing their chances to hit. The admin officer has uh, poison running on him. So that's even more further suppression. And we're fighting against the warlock. Hmm. Chosen shoots to kill. No bleed out. That sucks. Defense increased after first attack, that sucks. Increased damage from explosions, that's good. And Reaper vulnerability, which really doesn't mean a lot for us. 30 hit points to armor, on the other hand, does. Good, more suppression. Okay, cool. Yeah, we can work with that. Time to remove this guy from the battlefield. I really like the new classes. The Marine, potentially so far, is my favorite one. Not because it's particularly strong, but I like uh, the way that they have uh, created a fi an actual fire support class. Good, time for Spectral Zombies. Sir, 
huge surprise. We wouldn't have guessed. Correction, a spectral zombie. Move up into full cover. Ooh, mutants. Bane of our existence. Let's see if we can hit this guy. Okay, very nice hit. Well, that's a problem, that but one that we can solve. Uh, Full cover for an Oxus. And whilst we're at it, let's suppress the mutant. Lyrical is in full cover. Could get that stun lancer, which I think would not be a bad uh, first take. Yeah, I can't get far enough over. But we can certainly start shredding the mutant. Half cover isn't really my type of uh, my cup of tea but we're currently standing in half cover so I shouldn't be judging Horus moves up deals some damage but not really enough let's try to hit the stun lancer all right and we are slowly moving back. Richard Maneuver is great, I like it. He still maintains the aim penalty. That's a problem. They are more aggressively than ever using their grenades. Not good. Well, I can tell you something. We have a small but existing chance of dealing with the purifier. Potentially not worth uh, doing that. Instead, we'll move into better cover. On a similar note, we're falling back. Moves up, hunkers down <clears throat> to get rid of the fire. Let's hit this guy up and we're overwatching. Okay, cool. Lyrical moves up. Get 
Adrenaline rush to move up and heal. Taurus helps up, helps out on the front line. Like a true battle medic. Uh, medic. You can only see how strong the A protocol really is when you don't need to move. Uh, if you need to move even with run and gun and so on, it gets much, much, much weaker. Alright, we need to regroup, refocus. Got another zombie. Nope. Instead sabotaging the weapons. Good, I want to be greedy and get that. Elarium core. That's well worth our effort. I'm not pushing further forward. Not sure what exactly you are looking for, Patrick Taylor, but this very much looks to me like another faceless one. Why would there be a single civilian if you say so. who can be rescued? That doesn't make any sense. It's killing time. I hope it's worth it. Good, moving up. Sniper moves over here. The new weapon, uh, the new map tiles are great. I really like them. Should have gotten them much earlier. Pushing forward. Horus gets a free reload. Ah, uh, not a good, not a good move. Um, uh, let's risk it. Okay. I misclicked, unfortunately. Good. So we're moving up. And our sniper moves to here, which is a good shooting position. Time to brace the weapon here. Overwatch, overwatch. Should reload. Good. One more round of uh, reloads and we're soon going to move in. Your forces will perish and you will return to the Elders, Commander. Well, I wouldn't be too sure about that. For now, we're doing actually quite well. Spectral Zombie should be immediately dead. I got a bad feeling on both of these guys, so what we're going to do is brace, and I'm using a flashbang, because in case you don't know, flashbangs are... I'm going to spot out faces once. Since they did not do that. Okay, well that seems to be new. I've never had survivors for actual supplies. Come get 
sabotaging our weapons. Horus moves up. Is it clear? Noxus moves up. Lyrical moves up. And. Location confirmed. Sonar begins to move up as well. Overwatch, Overwatch. Taurus begins to move up further. Forty supplies, that's not bad. Good, sniper moves up. And the warlock is finally here. Well, great. He does have a summoning ability that in itself sucks. That'll be three disabled characters. Well, we have revived him. Sonar moves up. Time for us to shred as much of his armor as humanly possible. Let's get the rest of the armor. Very nice. Lyrical moves up, run and gun. Shotgun to the face. Unfortunately, shotgun to the miss. Full cover, he could flank, that's not great. I think that is better. Quake moves up. Nice little hit. Every little bit of damage counts. Okay, well. Oh no. But it's only one Spectral Lancer, so I can work with that. Six points of damage. How do we deal six points in the most efficient way? On the move. 
That's not quite it. Hits but wouldn't kill. What's over there? I do have an idea though. Very nice. Alright, moving up. Lyrical is hopefully about to finish him. There we go. Look at that. Not so tough anymore, eh? It is but another trial in my service to the elders, and their vision foresees all outcomes. Excellent work, Commander. Gotta put them down for good, but at the very least we've held off the chosen for another day. Attention, j'arrive. No need to ask twice. Good. Got another stock. I have it. Status and confirmed. All hostels are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. That was a really good mission. Better than I expected. Plus we got, I think, an Alarium core and a stock. Yeah, that's not bad. We can start modding our own weapons. The DLC weapons won't like grow how they normally grow because we're not upgrading the weapons. And we haven't gotten a captain upgrade again. Two Alarium cores, that's great. Supplies, that's good as well. All of this here is not yet very useful. Good, very good. Scientist, that is super important. We're going to scan for it. Game notices were behind on scientists and on engineers. And Enders Striker, Enders Enders, is back in action. Next up, Dilly G. It would be incorrect to train him in anything but being a marksman. And we need another marksman, so that's not bad. Enders, uh, where do we have? Uh, where do we have you? Ready to be a support. It's great. Okay, uh, so definitely a noticeable uptick in enemy strength. Are still moving forward on the Avatar project. Taking out that facility would deal a serious blow to their efforts. Incoming message for you, Commander. That's Good. Can summon robotic allies. Is a daunting task, Commander. But your efforts so far have left many wondering if we have made. Uh, that was the effort of hunting the Commander, seeking to capture soldiers. That's not a problem. That's not a problem either. So potentially we're going for the other dark event. Um. I like the shredding. That is fantastic. I would want to get plus one resistance contact as well, but the shredding is too important. At the moment, armor be uh, begins to be so much more difficult to deal with. Another scientist, plot the scientist here. That will help us a lot with um, speeding up our research. We are really unlucky with our scientists and engineers so far. Good luck. Hey, Commander. Tygen seems to have a habit of scratching that scar on the back of his head. 
wonder if anyone made sure its chip was actually removed. Good. Taurus here is tired. Hawkbite still on the covered action. And we have a lot of rookies to train through, holy. Well, at least we have a deep roster, right? Good, in terms of building items, not so much that we can do. Power relay is going to uh, work soon. I can definitely empty that one. And start optimizing our allocation because our soldiers are back in action and currently we don't need extra medical support. So in a few days that will be gone as well. Alien machinery in the middle will be the next one. And in terms of new combat tactics, I mean we do have plenty of supplies. So... Theoretically speaking, we could already get those. Those are relatively inexpensive. And I think we do have like 500 supplies that are laying around, so that would that would make for a good next target after after we are uh, dealing with uh, this mission here and after we have gotten the scientist uh, getting the 500 supplies then visiting the black market hopefully we're going to see a con uh, contact improvement so that we can get to uh, new indonesia and expand there The other option is to expand to here and get all armor and vest projects and proving ground instantly completed, but we don't even have a proving ground yet. There is a there is an argument to be made to have the proving ground next. Um, in terms of upgrades, I think we're definitely going with the mech breakdown because I want blue screen rounds. Maybe some of the chrysalid um, upgrades actually. I don't know what they are offering. Stun Lancer would be melee weapon upgrade, which is off, um, off the plate as well. We're just going with level one weapons across the board. That of course includes melee. Chrysalids would be Hazmaz vest, which isn't too bad. Um, gives a bit of a, the same hit points plus a burn chance. Yeah, you could uh, you could go for that. I wonder who gave the hazmat vest because that will be super valuable in this run. Wasn't the purifier? Wasn't the purifier? Good. Anyways. We'll figure that out as time goes on. If uh, you want to put up your own Hazmaz mess, uh, has mess vest, well, that's a difficult one. Uh, try clicking the like button uh, to get enough resources to build one at home uh, and prepare for your little own alien invasion. Thanks for watching and see you in two days. Bye bye.